Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Cancer, for the first half of October 2023. Here we go. Let's get right into it. Cancer, how are you all doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Cancer anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just looking in on a Cancer. All are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome, Cancer. What's going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh my, the new moon in Libra. Yeah, I love that. Love that balance, balance in this new romantic cycle. And you and your loved ones are safe. The new moon in Cancer. Oh God, this is my favorite moon oracle card. Just confirmation from spirit and the divine that all is well. You're safe. Your loved ones are safe. I just, I love that card. All right, let's see what kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for Cancer. What kind of animal spirit guide is leading Cancer here? What's what's the energy i saw the rabbit Ooh, the crow sitting on some spiritual information something's about to give you're about to sing something out you've been holding on to this information for quite some time holding on holding on you're about to soar with it about to sing it out here and the hyena oh my cancer look at you on the hunt <laughs> on the hunt but seeing the bigger picture, knowing what you want now, not second guessing yourself here. Look at how beautiful this is. And the balance, the balance is incredible. But you've got your eye on the prize. You are focused, <laughs> very focused. You see it. You see it from this bigger picture. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. And I see the elk wants to come through very strong energy, very fiery energy. The hyena is all about fire. And balance. I'm seeing this, this half moon here just so perfectly balanced, but you ignoring everything around you, ignoring the externals. You've got your eye on a bigger prize here. There's some kind of goal, some kind of uh, bigger picture for you. You're just ignoring the rest, ignoring it. I love that. <laughs> that ignorance is bliss. <laughs> what kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for the sign of cancer? <gasps> Oh my God, the thunderbolt. Look at this tower energy coming out. You are bringing something down. It's like enough. You've drawn the line in the sand. No more. Wow. Look at this beautiful rising up. I'm seeing the phoenix here. I'm seeing the rising up of cancer. The seeing the bigger picture, the long-term goal here, the long-term dream here. It's not about instant gratification, but you are done waiting. You are done holding on. You are done surviving here. You are absolutely fired up about something. Absolutely something's got got you going here. What is that all about? Look at this with the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This could have to do with your work. Wow. And how you're bringing in your money and transformation and fighting. Oh my God. Are you in fight mode? You are going to get what you want. You are going to get what you've asked for, what you've prayed for. You are demanding it right now. Oh my God, this is a massive transformation of knowing exactly what you want, clearing the way for it, paving the way. It's just the fool's journey. You're just in the fool energy right now. Move aside. I'm done with all these old cycles. I'm done with all of these lessons. Uh, cancer's got to go. Wow. What are you thinking about right now? What are you thinking about right now, Cancer? What is going on in the mind space? Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. My God, you are fighting for this. Nothing is going to stop you now. There is nothing that's going to stop you now. Some kind of massive truth about this, some kind of moment, some kind of life-changing moment, a moment where you realized, you realized you had won the battle. It was over. You were done with it. You weren't going to fight for it any longer. You took your place, took your place in the universe here, Cancer. Wow, you are surrounded by truths right now. You are surrounded by the divine 
uh, channeling to you these massive truths. Understandings, Eurekas, uh, burning it all down, burning everything that didn't work for you in the past down. You got to breathe this out, Cancer. You got to breathe this out. This is big power. This is big energy that you have been yielding here. This sword of truth, this determination, this perseverance, this uh, I am going to get there. It's I'm not going to miss the journey for the destination. I'm going to uh, get exactly what I want here. It's the law of attraction in action. What we think about comes about. What we think about, we are creating here. And this is beautiful. You have changed your entire um, thought system here. <laughs> wow, what's the resistance? What's the resistance in the mind space for cancer? What's the resistance? Ten of Pentacles, look at that, leaving some kind of security behind, some kind of uh, life behind. It's just you're moving into a whole completely different life here, a whole new arena. It's a whole new ball game for you, Cancer. And you are leaving something behind. You're sacrificing something. I'm wondering if that's your weariness here. You're just so tired of being tired. It's, it's, it's really um, a rejuvenation for you, an absolute rebirth in the energy uh, realm right now. You're being rejuvenated. You're being powered up for this. So you feel like you're sacrificing something, but it, it, it's uh, all going to be worth it because you see the gold, you see the prize, you see the winning here. So wow, wow, wow. Future, future thought for cancer, immediate future. What's this all about? Four of cups, that waiting room, that waiting hanging around, waiting for things to change. Those three cups had gone cold. Even though you felt secure and stable, it wasn't um, life-changing for you. It wasn't just that moment where you, you just felt that security and that everyone was safe and everybody, you just haven't had that. You've been feeling very unsettled, very um, leery of the next thing coming out of the universe. And uh, this is the cup you've been waiting for cancer this is the rainbow you've been waiting for the sunrise after the dark night here the the uh second chance the second chance here my god my god this is beautiful this is glorious what is your advice spirit in the mind space strength look at this look how strong you are now it's like you pulled that whole false foundation down you burned it all down you you just had this moment this kind of shock and awe moment of what am i doing what am i doing what am i fighting for why am i putting all of my eggs in this basket when life is supposed to be filled with experiences and lessons and love and honoring and uh, not so much fighting. There's just been this fight for happiness here that you've had going on. I'm gonna, I mean, I got to fight for my happiness here. And it just got you in fighting mode. You forgot that the destination was to be happy. But you came to this realization in a second, in a moment, something happened. You realized you had an aha. The Ace of Swords is all about an aha moment here. And it gave you the strength to walk away from that. It gave you the strength to walk away from that chaos, to let it burn. Use it as your phoenix rising here. Oh, God, Cancer, this is huge. This is a very, very powerful change coming in for you here. Very powerful where you get all your power back. That Leo confidence. You see the Leo there, just the confidence exuding. Past doesn't matter what, what went on in the past is no business of mine. The strength card says I am moving forward into a new experience, into a new experience where you're not fighting so much. What's in the heart space? What are you feeling right now? Tell me what cancer is feeling right now. What's cancer feeling? Tell me about cancer. Look at you on the fence. Don't know, don't know, but balance is coming to you. Look at this beautiful Sagittarius energy. This reading is all about fire. This is your internal fire, that compass, that true north of cancer. I'm heading here. Do you want to come with me or do you want to stay behind? But I've got to go. You're just on the fence, just on the fence. Do I just run for it? Do I just make the great escape out of this? Or do I stay back and soothe and, uh, and bandage some of the victims, <laughs> some of the casualties? <laughs> because you're such a caregiver. You are so very nurturing, so very compassionate. Cancer, you're all about compassion. 
but this is about balance and fire and that true north compass that's calling you. It's time to escape. It's time to move on to the next camp. You're needed elsewhere. You're absolutely too powerful to just stay in this balance, stay in this humdrum, stay in this nothing ever changes. Nothing's horrible, but nothing's great. And being in that in between on the fence, on the fence, you know, I don't want to, there's so many people that are worse off than me. And there's always this pull of, yeah, but there's so many people that are better off than me that are freer than me. So you're finding that yin and that yang, that true balance of what makes us complete, what makes us whole and knowing exactly what you want, exactly what you want. Look at the emperor coming in cancer. This is glorious. This is a new schematic, a new blueprint, a new path has opened up and you've got the confidence now you've got the strength now to really move forward to really move into this next experience that is all about action and fire and adventure and fun and no more battles you you've already battled you won the castle you won the war here cancer it is time to move on there's no more battling to to be done here look at this the emperor you've made it to the very very top here there's no one to challenge you any longer there's no one to um tempt you with the uh soothing of others the helping of others because you just know you're on your way to this other camp to this other campsite to this other adventure up here and you just you, you you're not looking back you're not looking back because you're leading it you're leading the pack out now so uh, who has time to look back? You're sending someone else to go check on the, <laughs> on the, on the casualties. <laughs> Spirit, what's your advice in the heart space for cancer and this beautiful transformation? Queen of Pentacles. My God, look at all this royalty stepping up here. Independently owned and operated, doing your own thing. Um, not worrying so much about what the others are doing. It's really this change of focus for you. You You've just got these blindfolds on. You're very, you're seeing very myopically now at the goal, at the prize, at the winnings, at the eureka now. It's just very beautiful because you're not feeling any regret. You're not feeling any guilt. You're not feeling any shame because somebody may have needed you or somebody asked you to do something and you couldn't do it because you've you got your eye over here. You've got your, your energy, your everything over here on the prize here, on the winning independently owned and operated come into you cancer this is beautiful beautiful oh my god this intensity what is this all about what is this all about in the foundation ace of cups their heart's fulfillment your heart's desire this is what you want it's time to acknowledge that it's time to acknowledge what you want cancer and go for it and run for it Yes, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This really makes you happy, really fulfills your heart. Look at what led up to it was a nine of swords. My God, my God, the sorrow and grief, the trying to figure it out, the learning. Look at all the books. Look at all the books around her. It's over. Cancer, you have uh, moved on. You've moved on. It, it's it's done. Look at the messenger in the window. Look at the sunrise coming for you. The new day coming for you. You can't sit in this tower any longer because you blew it up. You blew it up. So you better run out of it. You better run away from that. Walk away from that with all of your power intact with, I did something. I accomplished something. I succeeded here. I knew it was going to happen. I wished for it. I prayed for it. And here it is. All you had to do was hold on. And that's exactly what you did through some very, very big trials and tribulations with the four of cups up in the mind space that, that headachey that is just never going to change. Everyone else seems to be changing, seems to be thriving, seems to be succeeding. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting, but you were gaining the balance. You were gaining the balance you needed to be able to stand on both sides of the fence the grass was not greener but you wanted to at least experience it you wanted to step over that wall kick through that wall it's exactly what you've done here wow leading you right into the emperor energy right into the i am the leader <laughs> oh it was all for purpose cancer it was all for purpose but by god am i sending you a huge hug for that sorrow you have gone through. 
what's the challenge in the situation? What's the challenge for Cancer? What is the challenge? I thought something flipped over there, but maybe not. What is the challenge? Yes, it did. Oh, it had flipped over earlier, the Ten of Wands. I saw that. It was the burdens. It was the burdens of carrying all the weight, carrying all the load, doing it all, multitasking, really handling a lot of fires. You had a lot of fires you had to go run and put out. And then you were bringing the torches to the other camp. You were bringing the supplies. You were bringing the compassion. You were bringing the understanding. And uh, it's time to get the reward for that. It is time for this payoff answer. This is massive. This is a massive reward for all of the hard work, for all of the blood, sweat, and tears, for all of the carrying the load of others. It is all about to pay off. This is a huge yes moment. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I knew I would, but it got tough at times. It got very, very tough at times future situation. Oh, look at this with the Ten of Swords. Ouch, 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 ouch. Wow, wow, wow. Are you done with this load? Look at these two tens, these two beautiful tens. The end of the burdens, the end of the betrayal, the end of being on your own, of just forging the way with this worn out, tired old sword. It was all you had. <laughs> just chopping away at the dark, at the grief, at the sorrow, at the understanding, the, the realization that uh, the dark night is just that. It, it's very, very dark. It brings you to your knees. It brings you to your knees. Life throws these things at us, Cancer. And it's devastating. It's devastating in the moment. You need time. Not even a card reading is going to soothe that kind of grief. So you need time to process. We all need time to process the grief, but you are done. You are moving on. It is time to use that now as your superhuman strength. Now that grief, that hardship, that uh, struggle is in your toolkit now. Those swords have been removed out of your back by spirit. You've been elevated. You've been lifted up. And now they're in your toolkit. Now they're a part of your of your uh, resources here. Oh, God. And you'd never be able to help the others if you hadn't gone through that. There's a relating to them that people can just look you in the eye and understand that you know how they're feeling. There's a an understanding between the grief energy with you, Cancer. And there's just an all knowing between people who are suffering from that. And my God, it's the worst thing I've recently gone through this. And it's, it's devastating. It's devastating. There's nothing that will help in those moments. So you just need time. You just need to hold on and you know this better than anyone. So now as you're meeting the others, these, these others that are grieving, that are going through such horrible, hard times. Just your presence alone gives them hope. Just your voice, your all-knowing look, that, that twinkle in your eye that I've been there, they can feel that cancer. They can feel that and it is so healing. But you had to heal first and you've done that. And this is glorious, glorious transformation because now you're just understanding that the light is much, much more powerful. You are uh, much stronger walking toward the light than you are to continue to sit in the dark. So, uh, but boy, was that purposeful. It was absolutely purposeful cancer. Oh God. Wow. 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 A massive, huge transformation. <laughs> Spirit, what's your advice in the situation? the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Look at these two knights and they came in kind of sideways here, kind of as a challenge. So messages coming in, a lot of messages coming in, a lot of uh, energy is surrounding you right now, mostly spiritual energy. Right now you are in this bubble, Cancer. It's glorious. It's like you're in this protective bubble and all of spirit, every, every soul you've ever touched is protecting this bubble of you through this transformation. And so it's just, you're so divinely protected right now. You are so connected to spirit. I'm sure, I'm sure you see these signs everywhere proving that spirit is here right now. You're seeing the numbers, your numbers on the clock, your numbers in the lottery, your numbers showing up, your numbers showing up here. So because of this 
massive change because of this massive shift of energy just shifted. You used all your power to really, really shift that darkness out, that dark night out. You just banished it. You just banished it. Darkness be gone, be gone. I have the power of the light. I have the power of God on my side and you are no match. You are no match. So you're tired. You've got to rest. Get that rejuvenation going, that replenishment going. Meditation. Really, really go meditative through this transformation. You're walking away from it, Cancer. You're walking away from it. You're letting it go. You truly are the strength right now, the strength card, that powerful, powerful being that has experienced something. And you're at the end of that book, the end of that movie where you're just walking away with all of the power that those lessons uh, gave to that character. You're just really, really powerful with the spiritual realm right now. You are an absolute spiritual healer now, absolute guru now, the, the master now. You're the master of energy now. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I'm a Cancer rising and I, I, I rarely watch Cancer readings, even though I'm a, an ascending Cancer. I don't know why, but um, I love this. I love this because I know what this journey of grief means now, now that I've been through this. I, 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 I understand. I understand. And um, in many, many ways because of my, my day job too. So those that know me know that I understand grief and death and um, what, where that brings us to, what that brings us to. And then it hit me personally, hit me personally, like it does every single one of us. And now I really understand. And so it's just so beautiful that you are one of these beings, one of these earth angels that are meant to soothe the lost, soothe the hurting, because you know exactly what that place looks like, what it feels like. So let's look at the Queen of Swords, this power, and the Eureka, the Ace of Swords. What is that all about for Cancer? What is that all about? Oh my God, Cancer. The Tower. The Tower again. Again. The, uh, the uh, access to the all-knowing now. The door opening up now. Just like with the tarot card started speaking so profoundly to me. That's what's happening with you right now. It's time to use that now. It's time to read the cards now. It's time to do the numerology. It's time to do the Reiki healing. It's time to put everything you've learned here into action now so that the word can get out, that you will survive. You will survive. Just hold on. There's love around you. There's protection around you. There's spirit around you. You will survive. And that this is, oh my God, oh my God. It's just your turn. It is your turn. Cancer, step up to the mic. It is your turn. Wow. Well, what's the support around Cancer with the Ten of Pentacles? I want to see what that's about. I want to see the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my God. My God. Cancer, huge stroke of luck, huge win, huge victory. This is life-changing, this victory. This is... Uh, pull in those right numbers. This is beautiful. This is glorious. This is the payoff, the reward, the uh, here you go, cancer. Here, we're not going to let you stress about money anymore. We're not going to let you stress about people anymore. We're not going to let you worry about the worst case scenario anymore. I mean, this is massive. This is massive. I am literally I'm almost speechless. <laughs> Big, big stroke of luck. Big win. Big, huge win. <laughs> What's that win all about? What is that all about? Oh, boy. This is very, very <laughs> huge transformation. Page of Swords. Look at this. Look at these followers. Look at these people looking at you now, listening to you now, hearing you now. You are resonating. You are vibrating at a completely different level. I mean, you are the master now and people have their eye on you. People want to know you. People want to know how you got to be so strong. And I don't know if you're going to be able to understand it, but you're going to be able to know uh, what to say. You're just going to know. You're just going to, you're just this channeler now. You are an open channel to the ones you have lost here. They are absolutely with you. There is no doubt in my mind. Look for the signs of these past on loved ones that really took you to your knees 
and look for the signs. There's music. Music is a beautiful way for them to connect with us. If you hear the song they listen to or the song that just meant something between the two of you, um, that's it. That's them. They are here. They are here. <laughs> and they're bringing you luck bringing you luck, whatever game of choice you like, Cancer, you you do that. You do that. Wow, wow, wow. What's the heart space? What is Cancer feeling about this fence? Why is Cancer on the fence? Why is Cancer on the fence? What is that all about? The hermit, the hermit, mm, the private journey, the healthy journey, the uh, uh, a very strong journey of uh, health. For some reason, you're getting your health together. You, you're understanding how powerful you are now. And now you're looking at the physical body. I've got to take care of myself. I've got to find that balance. I've got to get enough sleep. I've got to get it, the right foods. I can't just uh, sugar high it and crash it anymore. Whatever that is, whatever that is, you are cleansing, you are clearing you are preparing for this uh, new beginning, and, and it is a new beginning. It is absolutely a new beginning here for you. Wow, so powerful. Look at the major arcana is incredible. Cancer, cancer. Wow, all right, what are you running toward? You're going to some new place, new uh, workplace, new something. I think it's your own business, your own thing, your own spiritual thing here. Five of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely your own spiritual thing. Look at justice. Oh my God. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready to go on your own, to go independent, to trust spirit with the spiritual gift you have, with the psychic gift that you have, where you're relating to the others. If that means writing a book, if that means getting your own podcast, your own YouTube channel, your own uh, stream here, streaming something here, it's time, Cancer. There's no other way to say it. You've had your eye on this. You know what I'm talking about right now. It's time. It's time to go. It's time to go for it. Jump in. Jump in. Justice. Wow. I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. With the, the tower, the, the shock and awe, the I can't believe it, the it never happens to me, to the wheel of fortune, the big win, the big, uh, the wheel of of time has turned for you and then justice the balance the reward the eureka same with the ace of swords the eureka wow what's this all about i gotta see what this is all about tell me about the foundation what is cancer's heart fulfillment here the ace of cups on the ace of cups oh my god cancer your cup runneth over your cup runneth over yes Yes, yes, yes. It just allows you to forget it. You're never going to forget. You're never going to forget, but it allows you to put those tools in your pouch and really have this fulfilling moment, this yes moment, this, I did a thing. I did a thing. And wow, am I proud of myself. I mean, cancer, this is glorious. This is so glorious. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Oh, it allows you to just lay down all of that grief and sorrow and sludge and quicksand just pulling you back in. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at these two beautiful tens, the ending, the eight of pentacles. Again, it's all about the blossom. Now, Blossom where you are. Bloom where you are. That's what the Buddha said. Bloom where you are. Cancer, you are blooming amongst the chaos. You are blooming amongst the grief. If you work with people that are really, really grieving, going through something, you are thriving. You are blooming. You know how to handle this kind of energy. You know how to lift people up without letting them pull you back down. You found this beautiful balance of light. You're such a light warrior, but this just really fulfills your heart, gives you all the financial independence you need, all the financial independence you need yes, to get this gift out there. Can't waste this. Can't waste this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, let's take a look at all these messages. What are all these messages coming to Cancer? What is that all about with these two knights? Oh my God, the star, 
the star Aquarius energy, the wish come true, the miracle out of the blue miracle. Oh God, you're just going to be like, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> if I hadn't have done this, that wouldn't have happened. If I hadn't have helped this person, that couldn't have happened. It just all clicks into place here. All clicks into place. Yes, mind, body, and soul. You're taking care of yourself physically. You're taking care of yourself in the mind and mentally. And you're taking care of your situation now. You're really taking control. This is what I want. This is where, where I'm going. This is what I'm going to get. That's why you're just so determined. You're just so fired up about this. Nothing going to stop you now, Cancer. This is your cup runneth over. It is time. It is time to break down happily now and not in grief. Time to break down in an oh my God moment instead of oh my God. Oh, Cancer, I love it. I love it. You are going to have to leave me a comment and let me know what this is all about. Huge win, huge victory, huge success. <laughs> you did it. You did it. I'm so proud of you. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it here. I don't even know what else to say about it. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. It really means a lot to me. And it shows me that you are resonating with these readings, which means everything to me. So let me know. So thank you so much, Cancer. I'm sending you so much light and love. And I uh, hope you have a fantastical first half of the month. And you're going to. <laughs> All right, Cancer, I will definitely tune in with you soon.